Meanwhile, if you thought that the art depicting Evie was offensive, close your eyes during this next story. KITV4's Brenton Awal was at the Honolulu Museum of Art for the opening of one of its premier exhibits. When looking at a piece of art, experts say the message truly is in the eye of the beholder. There isn't a meaning or a message that you're supposed to get. And I think that's a problem for a lot of people. They come to it, they're intimidated, they don't know what they're looking at. This eye catcher titled Aloha means hello and goodbye. The gesture turns from a shaka to a middle finger and might surprise some, but most here weren't bothered. I didn't think anything at all of that one. It was neither offensive or inoffensive. How about headless babies? This artist named one of her pieces Hung Out to Die, symbolizing shortcomings and disasters, open to interpretation but not to censorship. Censorship, it goes against free, free speech, free expression, first of all. And in particular, um, times change, attitudes change. But some artists have a different point of view. While most oppose censorship, some say these creators need to realize where their work will be placed and who will see it. If you know ahead of time that your work is going to a public space and it's going to a public forum and it's going to be critiqued by the public, then as an artist, it's your responsibility to know the history of the space that you're in. It seems as long as it's in the Honolulu Museum of Art, anything chosen to be there goes. We support their art. I'm sure I'll get letters of complaint, but I would never take their art down. We blurred part of the neon shaka lamp since this, uh, in this story since it could be offensive to some of our viewers. You can see the entire piece at the museum starting tomorrow through November 24th. Back to you guys. All right.